Ready for a great bullet video? Climbing, jumping, running, all the things that are just part of a normal koala day. Plus, you're going to get a little peek inside my kitchen. Please make sure that you have subscribed to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on anything koala. I just love starting my day by seeing any koala outside my kitchen window. Bullets sleeping in a pink bloodwood and I've popped out into the backyard to get a better look at him. The pink bloodwood is a secondary food tree and a really important shelter tree for koalas. One large branch of this tree was lopped off last year after some storm damage and you can see it cut up around the base of the tree. The water station here was provided to me by the Port Macquarie Koala Hospital. These two red gums are primary food trees and they're Bullet's favourite home trees. We've seen his acrobatic antics right here. My kitchen faces east, so come have a look through the window with me. And there's our boy. Less than half an hour later and the rain started up again. You'll notice that Bullet hasn't taken any real notice. Koalas really don't care much about the weather at all. Later in the morning, I noticed that he'd moved. Bullet often does exactly this behaviour. He'll wake up, he'll move to a good horizontal vantage branch, he'll sit there for around 10 to 15 minutes and just slowly wake up and decide which tree cafe to go and eat at. During this time of waking up contemplation, he naps, he looks about, he yawns, he contemplates, until finally his decision is fully made. And finally, it's time to move. Even as he starts moving, it's obvious that he's still weighing up his final options. Looks like things could go any of a couple of ways. Now there's two main rules for koala movement. When a branch or a trunk is upwards, you go forwards. When a branch or a trunk points at all downwards, you turn around and you go in reverse. Simple rule. I'd been wondering if he was contemplating moving through some acrobatics for us to get to the nearby red gum. But after his contemplations finished, just another bit of a yawn and he's decided that he'll go down the trunk of the tree. Now, I will admit that I have been wondering how the koalas would go moving in and out of this tree since I stacked all of these pieces of the limb around the bottom of the tree. It's made a totally awesome reptile habitat there's many beautiful dragons that love it. And what I discovered with a koala as fabulous as Bullet is, didn't phase him at all. He simply walks across the top of the pile of branches as though it's just part of the tree that he's moving through up in the air. Gets to the edge and leaps off. And he's running. I think you'll all agree with me that we know now that really nothing stops Bullet. He gets to another of his favourite red gum trees and up he goes. Just watch those powerful arms. The arms are the strongest part of a koala. You can see that rather quickly he has scaled to quite a height in the tree up there for dinner. I now moved back inside of the house as I could see him better from here. Bullet then moved about all through the top of that tree and spent nearly an hour eating his fill. There seems to be something that works really well about the strategy of reversing down a tree until you find that you just naturally mm, ease back into a really good spot to sit in. Notice how he's got that upright branch in front of him. 
giving him that little extra handhold. He looks like he's just sitting in the absolutely perfect spot. No wonder this is one of his favourite trees. It looks like it's actually just made and shaped to sit a koala perfectly. Bullet just makes sure that he gets everything settled exactly to his liking. And this time he doesn't have any trouble sleeping. He slept in this spot, pretty much in this position, for hours after this. Thanks for visiting Koala Gardens. Did you hit the like button? Now before you go, there's lots more great video to see. And make sure you've subscribed and hit that notification bell.